Have you ever gazed at the night sky and wondered how did it all begin? How did our universe come into existence? The Big Bang Theory is currently the best scientific explanation we have for these profound questions. It describes the universe's expansion from a state of unimaginable density and temperature. But even this theory, supported by phenomena such as the hubble lemaitre law, leaves some questions unanswered. Consider the puzzling imbalance between matter and antimatter. According to our understanding, the Big Bang should have produced equal amounts of both. Yet our universe is overwhelmingly dominated by matter. And what about the elusive dark matter, a substance we cannot directly observe, yet whose gravitational effects we can measure, or the even more mysterious dark energy thought to be driving the universe's accelerated expansion? These are the enigmas that the Big Bang Theory grapples with. These are the questions that keep cosmologists awake at night. It's a grand cosmic puzzle. And each piece we find brings us closer to understanding our universe's past and perhaps its future. The Big Bang Theory attempts to explain these mysteries and give us a glimpse into the birth of the cosmos. Imagine a state of extreme density and temperature, a moment when all matter and energy in the universe was compacted into a singularity. This is the starting point of the Big Bang Theory. Now, what is this singularity we're talking about? It's a point in space and time where the laws of physics, as we know them, cease to be useful. Picture everything in the universe, all the matter, all the energy, all the space, compressed into an infinitesimally small, infinitely dense point. That's the singularity, the seed from which our universe sprouted. In the first fractions of a second, this singularity began to expand, not into something, but as something. It's a crucial distinction. You see, the universe didn't expand into a pre-existing space, rather space itself was and still is being created by this expansion. The universe in those early moments was a hot, dense state, much like the core of a star. Temperatures were so high that particles of matter and antimatter were being created and annihilated in an instant. It was a time of chaos, a time of creation. As the universe expanded, it cooled. Matter began to dominate over antimatter. The particles slowed down and gravity began to weave its magic, pulling matter together to form the first structures in the universe. Here's where the Hubble-Lemaitre law comes into play. Named after Edwin Hubble and Georges Lemaitre, this law states that galaxies farther away from us are moving faster. This observation supports the idea that the universe is expanding and has been since its birth. So, from a state of unimaginable heat and density, the universe began its journey. A journey from singularity to multiplicity, from an infinitely small point to the vast cosmic expanse we see today. From this fiery birth, the universe has been expanding, a fact supported by the observation that galaxies farther away from Earth are moving faster. In the wake of the Big Bang, the universe began to cool and expand, leading to the formation of light elements and the cosmic microwave background radiation. Let's dive a little deeper into these phenomena, shall we? As the universe expanded, it cooled down, and this cooling allowed for the formation of light elements. We're talking about hydrogen, helium, and a smidge of lithium, the very first elements to exist in the universe. These light elements are abundant in the cosmos, and this abundance is one of the key pieces of evidence supporting the Big Bang Theory. Now let's switch gears and talk about the Cosmic Microwave Background Radiation, or CMB for short. The CMB is like the afterglow of the Big Bang, the residual heat left over from that initial explosion. This radiation permeates the universe, and it's another crucial piece of the Big Bang puzzle. The CMB was predicted by the Big Bang Theory and its discovery in the mid-20th century was a major breakthrough that solidified the Big Bang as our best explanation for the origin of the universe. So how old is the universe, you ask? Well, by studying the CMB and observing how galaxies move and evolve, scientists have estimated that the universe is approximately 13.8 billion years old. That's a mind-bogglingly long time, but it's the best estimate we have based on the evidence at hand. Despite the initial density and heat, the universe did not collapse back into a singularity, but has been expanding for an estimated 13.8 billion years, a testament to the power of the Big Bang.